Mr. Right, Bay, the thing is, I appreciate you coming forward mm -hmm. on your own without bringing someone else. Really? And uh, and it's not a jab to you. It's not a jab to bring No, I appreciate you saying that. This is good. I, Let him talk. I, I, I believe that Miss Bartlett had came forth first, and this is my honest opinion. I really don't care who votes for me in this time. I was elected to do and serve a proper service. Okay. If this is posted on YouTube or anything, you will get sued. Okay, sued. <gasps> sued. Because it'll be on YouTube. I'll tell you my name. My name is Michael Bartlett. Let's get back to what we're here for. Uh, so, me too. Uh, but I believe, Ms. Bartlett, had you came to us and spoke to us first, and, and, and this is my honest opinion. The consideration would have been different. I don't believe it would have been as much. You're speaking to me. Can I speak back to that when well, you get done? I saying. will. It wouldn't have been as big as it has turned out to be. I honestly don't believe that. We've had issues in this town before with the zoning problem. It turned out to be a massive thing. It shouldn't have been because someone went outside. <coughs> It'll be much bigger after tonight. Okay. Well, go ahead, ma'am. Now, I would like to respond to that. I, I think it was very clear that it has been said, which I, I guess you weren't in any of the zoning meetings, no, but I came to the city hall, and I did not originally hire an attorney. I hired an attorney when I found out that the previous deacon at Enon, Henry Michael, had passed away, and now there's a, there was another deacon, uh, David Riddlesberger, who, the only reason I found that out that he was a deacon is because I sat down and read the paper just like everybody else yes, that a deacon passed away and Pat McCool was saying we're going to miss the member a member of our church, a deacon of our church and the chairman of the zoning board. Well, you picture yourself living in my house. I'm getting ready to go up before the zoning board thinking just naive like I'm going to tell them everything. Now, before you answer, listen to me. Sure. So I, I panicked. I mean, there's no question. So there is, there wasn't even an issue with, yes, Misty is going to get on the phone and get a hold of a property attorney. I don't have the money just to throw away. No way. I'm a single mom, but I knew I have Houston, we've got a problem. That's when the attorney stepped into the picture. And if he had not, I remember very well, and it's all recorded that previous city council meeting when Craig said those things to me, if I had not had my attorney, I know uh, what would have happened. One zoning me board meeting had already gone through and members of the church refused to accuse themselves. So how can you sit there and tell me like if I would have talked? I tried to talk. I was told to direct, direct all of my concerns to a member of Enon Baptist Church. How does that work out? From the zoning board? From the mayor. So I was told to direct everything. I have letters. I have everything. Trust me. My laptop is full and even in the safety deposit box at the bank. I have got a lot. And I worked very hard to try to talk to the city and had no idea what was happening. And I understand if you didn't know, realize all that, I, I but be no really careful because... Right. Well, I'm just telling you, I you don't have to worry about that because I, Misty... Matter of fact, I, I've never hired a property property attorney. I really thought moving into this house that actually Morris would be very proud that I would take care of this home, and I had no idea all this was going to happen. I, I I promise you, I would have rather lived in Gardendale and said, "Go Enon Baptist Church, thumbs up. Go Morris City, God bless you, everything." If I was outside of this situation, but I'm literally right here in the middle, and I'm going to do everything I can to protect myself, and I'm I'm not done, and I'm I'm committed to protect myself and my home because I know that this is only a step. So it's it you you can say it had it got big. I appreciate it getting big. I appreciate every reporter that came and that videoed and that took pictures and that has been here shining a spotlight because. When Misty tried to ask for help, we saw what happened. But when Misty got an attorney and the media got involved, we saw a little bit of change. Now, tonight is a very big surprise, so I know they're glad they're here. But I'm very thankful that it got big because it was Misty's only prayer for anything fair. And I'm sorry if he's made y'all mad, but let me tell you, I have been, I'm, I'm scared. Uh, the things I have seen progress in every one of these meetings, anybody would be very scared. And, and there, there's a lot of people paying attention to 
exactly what's going on. And I, I, it, it would be only natural. If you would, didn't hire an attorney and, you, and this was going on and you were all in the spotlight, people would probably say, I wonder why. They, you know, it must just be a situation of they can't afford it. Let me tell you something. I'll refinance my house. I, I am convinced that if you live in the Snow Rogers house, you have got to budget in your monthly expenses an attorney. And I have planned to do so pretty much for the rest of the time I own that house. 